in general the ml apis can be divided into four main broad category what is up everybody in this video let's try to understand google's machine learning api as a part of gcp if you're new to my channel definitely consider subscribing and liking this video it really helps me a lot to push this content to similar people like you i will try to be quick and do this video under five minutes even though machine learning is a highly used keyword in any sales pitch deck still machine learning is a very complex subject so there goes a lot into training these neural net to even solve really basic problems like identifying cats and dog in images to power any simple model like this a neural network has to be trained with multiple layers on a series of data set for it to be in any usable format if you consider like the way it works so basically each image is kind of broken down into pixel and then these pixels are kind of read into the input layer of the model and at the end of the day this deep neural architecture is being trained and the weights and biases are being trained uh, while the images are being processed so to even power a simple model like identifying cats and dog a neural network a convolution neural network has to be trained on this series of data set the images can range from thousands to ten thousands of images just to train this model with a very small use case and what if you want to identify everyday objects like couch table chair laptop this then becomes a really complex problem for you to solve on your own. Eventually to train a model like this, you will need data in terms of millions of images. So it doesn't make sense for you to just go about training your convolution neural nets for every use case. At the end of the day, as an engineer, you're more interested on solving real world problems. For example, identifying the right images in a medical data set, Maybe in shipping containers, you want to know what's written on the shipping boxes. Thankfully, Google Cloud Platform provides high quality pre-trained models via API. And these APIs can be easily consumed by engineers regardless of the platform. So let's try to understand what different types of these pre-trained model APIs are available for you to use. In general, the ML APIs can be divided into four main broad categories. So the four main categories are site, language, conversation and structured data. These main categories even have subcategories. For example, site has vision and video intelligence. Language has translation and natural language API. For conversation has dialogue flow, speech to text and text to speech. Structured data has auto ML tables, recommendation AI and cloud inference API. There are other categories as well, but I would like to discuss them in later videos. Let me share an example. In the vision face detection API, we can just simply call the API sending an image with it. It will return a JSON response like this. You can see the JSON response is very easy to read. It contains all the details on uh, the faces, the, the coordinates of the faces, the bounding boxes with it. You can see the different points of the faces as in the picture. It, it also marks in the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the, the lips. You get the power of Google at your fingertips with these kind of APIs. And uh, the usage can be endless. It can provide multiple different use cases. Uh, it's just that you need to use it for the right use case. So these predefined APIs are really powerful. For example, as a part of the Vision API, you get multiple things, such as optical character recognition, which identifies these different characters in images, like words. You, get, you can detect faces. You can also get crop hints from the AI. You can get image labels, landmarks, logos, and many more things. There is also AutoML, allows you to customize this top of the line model to train the last layer using their neural architecture search. Let me know in the comments if you want me to cover more on this. All right, in my upcoming videos, I'm going to be covering all these APIs in detail. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel for that. And if you got value out of this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.